Sanmana and welcome to Spirituality Unfiltered, Episode 1. This is a safe space where we get to discuss spiritual issues without judgment. I would like for you to take the time and subscribe onto my YouTube channel, Antlofgazi Lhosi TV. And also do follow me on my Facebook page, Antlofgazi. Today we're going to be discussing the relationship of God and our ancestors. Can these two beliefs actually coexist with one another? Let's get into it. With so many theories of God and our ancestors, there are people who believe in God and there are people who believe in Ilos. There are people who identify Ilos Leitu as demons. Today, I want us to discuss the relationship between God and our ancestors. And hopefully, uh, this will help people who need assistance in wanting to pursue a relationship with both God and our ancestors. Almost if we by Bethlehem in the book of Genesis, we do find that God is and all that lives in it. This includes humans and animals. Our ancestors are creatures that were created by God Himself. He is the Alpha and the Omega of Impelosit. Hence, Unkulunkulu will always be superior to our ancestors. People need to understand that we worship God and we honor our ancestors. The same way our ancestors also worship God. That is why Tua Ilhuzi is Itunya Sigankulunkulu, because they are the servants and the disciples of Unkulunkulu. Menangin is Tunya, and I believe both in God and my ancestors. And I'm sure Siba Ningi food that believe in God and our ancestors. In everything that I do, I first pray and invite God. Then Gia Pasha to Islam. The way I view the relationship between God and my ancestors is that God holds the keys to everything. And God has his angels or in Gedusizakism seven life, which is Islam. In the Bible, there are angels, and the angels I consider my ancestors. Which I consider my ancestors because born about seven seven and Nunkulunkul assigns them a task and blessings that they need to help me achieve. Elozi are believed to be spirits that, that live in the spiritual world, and they are regarded as intermediaries between the living and the spiritual world. They work hand in hand with God. So the other day, I recently put up a post on my, on my social media, on my Facebook, asking people what are some of their thoughts when it comes to Christianity and our ancestors, asking them if these two can coexist in each other. So I would like for uh, I would like to discuss some of the answers and some of the opinions that I actually got. So someone said Utulani is said, in my opinion, they can coexist. It's just that it becomes problematic when one labels the other as demonic, and the other labels the other as a white man's thing. In my in my opinion. God is superior, being whether you're a Christian or whether you believe in, in ancestors. And I truly do agree with the Tulan. And then there is Nicholas that says, in simple terms, no, they cannot. Uh, they, they, they can't or they don't. One exists to solely aid mankind in this world and all its challenges. And the others exist to aid mankind beyond time. And in this in in this world, and one cannot do the other and reap the benefits of the other. Hence, it is down to one's choice in truth and honesty. Hence, coexistence seems legit and real. Okay, okay, I I I fully get that. And then I have the opinion of Uvisele. I hope I said that right. I believe they coexist. The moment you have come. Conflict within your hearts, you will find it hard to believe and to balance both sides. If you believe in God who created the heavens and the earth, everything that lives in it, you you would you would find peace both on both sides, and that is my take. And I absolutely absolutely do agree with this, um, because that's how I also view the relationship between God and my ancestors. I believe that they do coexist with each other. <laughs> Um, okay, and then I have oh, oh, Max. Max says, I would like to say they need to understand, uh, they need 
to be understanding when it comes to God. That our ancestors were already believing in the higher power. Unkulunkul. Um, and different tribes call it something else. Before the Bible arrived, people prayed for rain, for crops, uh, etc. The issue is that culture is something that is deep for black people, Africans, Africans as a whole. And it goes hand in hand with God, the maker, as we know, that we res- respect nature. A man's in, in Taba and Jalonjan. So one works with another. The problem comes when we comes in when Christianity say we worship our ancestors and that they are demonic, when in fact we acknowledge those that come before us and when it comes to calling everyone that has that has a calling and following it. Know that you have to include God in everything that you do. So in my opinion, when you have a calling you can't be a Christian but you're a spiritual. Okay. I I absolutely absolutely hear that. Uh, I think I'm just going to have one more comment and then we have Utobid. She's saying no. Um, I always wonder how healers become or continue with Christianity, seriously considering the black history, uh, I will considering the history of it towards black people. However, I always excuse it, excuse it, uh, excuse it on the basis that maybe they are focusing on God and not on Jesus. And that's absolutely true. I know some people are... Pfft, they they they're gonna bite me for this, but personally, I do not believe in Jesus. I believe in God. I believe in Christianity. Um, yeah, well, it's just that there's so many missing parts and elements when it comes to the Bible and the things that Jesus Christ does. So that part of confuses me, and I respect that part of the Bible, but personally, I do not believe in it. I believe in God himself uh those are some of the facebook comments that i, I actually got uh, but all in all it's it, it all goes according to what you believe in so everyone has the right to believe in whatever they want to believe in but in kolelo yako it shouldn't oppress in kolelo yomunyumoto landelai yes christianity can coexist with ancestors oguti why sikhe zisilwa um see about god and our ancestors it doesn't make sense honestly at the end of the day we are all believing in one person which is god we even have amazon damanigi that always believe that isonto lab is superior than the next church but at the end of the day song is singing and it's a cool and cool abanya band bazeza bazizo kubanga sibang ngona is if unkulu nkulu sebenzela mona pen and only favors them but at the same time, Unkulunkulu stands as one king of the world. Yes, Unkulunkulu is a fan, but I'm not close to our fan, which is why they operate differently because our fan. At the same time, king of the world, pillars song to seven to seven Unkulunkulu, but we all not the same physically, emotionally, and mentally. Now, can it is okay for people that do not believe in ancestors? In King of Ghana, when you try and oppress your belief onto the next person, calling it rosy calling it to the uh as a demon um so yeah i hope um this actually gives you like an idea of how the relationship between god and the relationship between our ancestors actually can can coexist if you do have a different view or perspective on how and how it was let's can coexist please do feel free to actually leave it down in the comment section and i'll be sure to read it and actually reply to you. Guys, at the end of the day, we all need to respect each other's beliefs. Always when one is close in general, Satan, it's okay. It's your opinion. The same way I'm saying, Kuti, I, 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 I don't believe in Jesus, but I respect people that do. And I also respect that part of part of the Bible. As much as I do believe that he's in Bible that I do not believe in. If you want a bite of my head for that, oh, it's okay. It's my belief and it's it's my opinion. Now in general, you also want to have your own opinion. The same way that I believe in God and I believe in my ancestors. And I believe they work hand in hand with each other. I've seen Izenzo Zankulunkul and I've seen Izenzo Zekho Islam in Pilunyam, Sisebens, Sebens and Dawon. And I've also tried Rukutis to try and cut off God and only focus with Islam. And I've also seen the impact and the damage that it had to Impiloyam. And I that's when I realized with the Bonk and Abanto all work hand in hand with each other. Kulunkul Yoshe Zebi in my opinion, in Ruslami will always be the next of kin. 
if I can put it in that way. He will always be in the next of kin when it comes to God. So, yeah, um, I, I think that is it. And I, I hope, yeah, someone, someone, this video or this episode is going to be useful to someone else. And if not, guys, hopefully we can all respect each other's beliefs. Until next time, everybody, do have a good day. And yeah. Mkulunkulek busis and it was like Lucy's a lean now, Lucy's a canyon, said Allah, Hambacon.